Mario. Hello, buddy. This is your one and only boy, Lava Series 77. And in today's video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the top five best working shaders for MCPE 1.1.3. So, anyways, guys, without further ado, let's just get started. In this all right, guys, coming up at number five, we have the blue power shaders for MCB. You guys can see this is a pretty, pretty cool shader pack overall. Definitely one of my more favorite. I, I wouldn't say my favorite shaders, but it's definitely up there on the list where I would consider shaders to actually be good. Because as you guys know, there's a lot of shaders in MCB that aren't really good that have been recently released right now. Uh, but I mean, there are some amazing shaders and then there's just ones that are just completely bad, in my opinion. And yeah, but this one is actually really, really nice if I do say so myself. And as you guys can see, it's actually daytime and it... Overall, looks pretty nice. You get, I, I don't know how many times I keep repeating my the same phrases over and over again. But anyways, you guys can see we have the clouds and stuff. It is, it actually looks pretty cool. You guys can see we don't actually have, like, uh, frozen clouds or anything like that. You guys can see it's actually moving. So that's a cool part of this shader pack. We do have a custom animated clouds. The only problem is it is a bit glitchy as you guys can see, but it's not. It shouldn't be too much of a big deal. As you guys know, this is coded for Minecraft Pocket Edition, so it shouldn't be. Like I said, it shouldn't be. Like, don't expect anything too crazy. And then if we do go underwater, we'll check out how the um, how it looks underwater. And you guys can see the our we're kind of getting a bit of a weird nausea effect if we go underwater. So you guys can kind of notice that whenever we go underwater, we have a bit of a nausea effect. That's and as you guys know, that's pretty realistic overall. So that's something that I like about the shader too. Just adds to the immersion of it. I mean, the shader isn't that re as far as realism wise, it's not that realistic, but it still looks really nice in my opinion. And I don't know i just really like it and you know it's not waving too much too much back and forth now if i do set the t the weather to thunderstorm you guys can see once the weather changes the grass and stuff starts to glitch up like crazy so yeah this is a pretty buggy shader just keep that note in mind and if you have like any problems like avalos here or anything this probably wouldn't be a good shader for you guys but yeah you guys can see the clouds actually turn black so it actually looks like it's raining and thundering so that's pretty, pretty cool so what we're gonna do is set the time we're going to clear the weather and actually set the time to sunrise or no set the time to sunset and you guys can see that's how we're that is how it looks when it's sun setting and we're going to set the time to night now and if we actually do place down a oh the grass is still glitching you guys can see we have really nice lighting i do like the lighting it is pretty pretty nice and you guys can see this is how it looks in it's nighttime it also looks pretty nice when it's nighttime it's not i mean it, it is a bit dark but it still looks really really nice and then if we actually go to the nether let's go and hop into the nether really quick go there and you guys can see this is probably one of my more least favorite part of this shader just because the nether has literally nothing nothing really changed when it comes to the shader i mean you guys can see the lighting is kind of different it, it does i mean it really doesn't look like there was any work put into the nether as far as the shader goes so that's pretty unfortunate that is a bit of a disappointment if i do say so myself uh i was actually expecting for the lighting to look really cool to actually look like a little bit more realistic but that is unfortunately not the case but other than that you're i mean you're never really gonna play with shaders most of the time when you're playing minecraft you're just gonna be playing in daytime and nighttime you're not really gonna have like thunderstorms or anything or like go like to the nether as much you're just gonna be you know you're this is kind of i mean so it shouldn't really be that big of a deal but that those are the downfall with this shader but anyways guys i hope you guys did enjoy this shader let's get on to our number four mark all right guys coming up at number four we have the creeper shaders for mcp so this is probably one of the more better shaders for mcpe this is an older version of this, uh, the creeper shader so just keep that note in mind and in my opinion this one actually looks a little bit better the only thing is the sky actually looks better in the newer one, but still, I really like this sky, and I wish there was a different variations of the creeper shaders, and I wish this variation was in the current version of Minecraft, but that is not, which is unfortunate. But this should this shader will still work on the newest version of MCP. I'll leave a link in the description below to download the older version of the creeper shaders and the newer version of the creeper shaders, and uh, yeah, the newer version should be at free by now, I think, unless you have to pay for it. I think you have to pay for it, and the only thing you won't get if you get the free version is the water the water will still be the same as vanilla minecraft but you guys can see this is how the shader looks pretty pretty cool stuff 
it is overall a pretty nice shitter i really do like this i i don't know what it is about the shitter it just looks really nice it's, the sky is a little bit glitchy but you guys can see we do have obviously animated clouds and what we're going to do is test the weather out so we're going to set the weather to thunderstorm now if you guys have want to see more in-depth review of this shitter i did make a video which i'll leave in the description below if you guys want to go check it out but yeah you guys can see this is how the thunder looks it looks like it's actually raining it's actually pretty nice and you guys can see the shadows are still here thankfully unfortunately it is going to lag a lot more since you have the shadows co uh, culmination with the rain which is a bit unfortunate but it's still really really nice and you guys can see the lighting does stay, stay true to its natural lighting that the shader provides you don't have it it doesn't go back to the default minecraft lighting like most shaders whenever it rains but you guys can see there we go this is a really nice shader oh my god okay so now what we're going to do is set the weather to clear and i'm going to show you guys how it looks when the sun is setting and then we're going to go check it how check out how it looks when it's nighttime so you guys can see this is how it looks when the sun is setting i think that's a moon the sun should be over there on that side am i right oh no i guess the sun is setting over here okay yeah there you guys go look at that beautiful view oh my god but yeah guys there you guys go that is how the sunset looks pretty pretty nice and yeah it's i mean like i said don't expect anything don't expect anything too crazy from these shaders but they, i mean don't get me wrong they look nice but they don't look like crazy realistic but still i really do like these shaders for mcp so what we're gonna do is set the time to midnight sorry if i'm talking too fast by the way set the time to midnight okay there you guys go that is how and oh wow okay i think this is a glitch actually i don't think this is a part of the shader pack the lighting on the glowstone but if we do play this down, and if we actually do place it on a torch too, by the way, these don't make any difference. You guys can see it looks pretty, pretty cool, and it looks actually really nice in nighttime. I think it actually looks the same. If the only difference is the moon change and the sky is a little bit more darker. But yeah, there you guys go. And here's the water. And if we actually go in the water, you guys can see you have a bit of a nausea effect. It's a little too overkill, if I do say so myself. And it, I mean, it does add to the immersion, but it kind of kills it at the same time because it's a little bit too overdone. But it still looks really, really nice. So now what we're going to do is actually go and run into the nether and see how that looks. And there you guys go. This is how the nether looks. Definitely something really, really nice. I'm actually glad the sh the, sh the creator of the shader actually did work on the nether. Uh, yeah, the lighting looks obviously really, really nice in the nether. And I, I mean, I hate to say considering it's like a hellish place, but it's actually kind of beautiful. Like, I actually kind of like it. Yeah, the, the lighting is actually pretty nice in the shader. Unfortunately, most shaders now don't really work on the nether, but this one still luckily does, which is really, really nice. So yeah, there you guys go. That is the nether for you guys. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. All right, so let's set the time back to day and let's get on to our number three mark. All right, guys, so next up we have the FLPE shaders. As you guys can see, this thing is absolutely beautiful. As you guys can see, it looks amazing. And yeah, it's just an overall really, really good shader. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about these shaders, like I said. And yeah, I mean, this is a really, really nice shader. I mean, of course, it's not perfect, but it's definitely similar to the sky. To uh, Actually, no, I'm not going to tell you guys because it's, I'm not going to spoil it. But yeah, there you guys go. That is the FLP shaders. Now, I did not go in depth with this. I didn't showcase the weather or the nether, which is unfortunate because this is a pre-recorded video, which was recorded a bit while back. But this is work for 1.13.0. Unfortunately, I don't have enough storage to add more videos, so I'm just going to use this video. And I don't have really much time either way, so I just use this quick video clip in the background. But yeah, there you guys go. That is the FLP shaders. The main thing about this shader is the sky, the water, and the lighting. Pretty much everything about the shader like i said like i said i didn't check check out the nether or the weather in particular but everything else is pretty much nice the lighting and stuff looks amazing but yeah that's pretty much it for the shader hope you guys did enjoy this this part of the video and i forgot that i'm not actually ending off the video i still have more shaders to show you guys but so yeah there you guys go I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days To get away To see you again See you again Been fighting ways To get away To see you again again 
all right so next up guys we have these sky nade shaders for mcp as you guys can see this thing is looking absolutely crazy i mean it's nothing too too crazy as you guys can see so far i'm not too too impressed with the shader just because of the sky and the lighting isn't anything all that great the sky is actually kind of nice if i do say so myself as you guys can see we actually do have some clouds for once but i don't know what it is about the shaders it just feels very dark so i mean i guess if you're going for a more medieval themed uh you know environment in minecraft if you're, if you're trying to play your let's play in a medieval theme time then i guess you could use this shader pack and put it a lot a combo it with a normal uh medieval texture pack and put this shader pack with it and i think that would go really nice together but nothing is really too 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 crazy um the weather and stuff isn't anything all that great now the main thing about the shader that's amazing is the water as you can see i haven't really seen any water like this before as you can see the water looks absolutely beautiful i mean the only problem is when you it's not completely finished because and also this is a beta version i'm using of the shader i'm sure it's already released by now but if you guys do go underwater you guys can see it's not very it's just it's like the normal minecraft so that's pretty unfortunate but this is an overall pretty nice shader if i do say so myself i'm actually liking it a lot and the another problem with the shader is if you actually go into the nether there's literally nothing is done with the shader so that is also a downside to say so the least but everything else is okay it's kind of mediocre this is more of a mediocre kind of shader and it does work better on low-end devices so i mean i guess you could say it's for low-end devices though i don't think this shader pack is intended for low-end devices but yeah the main thing about this shader that i really really love is the water the water looks amazing the only problem is, is when you go underwater it looks the exact same you don't see any like nausea effect or you don't get any like crazy effects underwater so yeah the water isn't 100 percent finished but from the outside it looks really really nice but yeah guys there you guys go that is it for that all right guys coming up at the number one mark we have the seuss pe shaders now i cannot stress to you guys how much this is actually my favorite shaders for mcp unfortunately the current the real version this is not the real version of the seuss pe shaders and the real version isn't going to be released anytime soon as far as what from what i'm seeing but there, if you guys really want to get access to this early, you guys can get access to the remade version of the Seuss PE shaders, which is by someone else, which I'll leave a link in the description below, as well as to the original creator that made this shader pack, which is, as you guys know, Gabriel. And as you guys can see, it's very laggy. I'm actually running on my iPhone, iPhone X right now, and it's actually still getting a substantial amount of lag. So I'm not sure entirely what the deal is. But yeah, you guys can see this is how it looks. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. So as you guys can see, the sky and stuff is really, really beautiful and stuff. And as you guys can see, we have a realistic water. And actually, if I do set the time to night, we can actually show you guys the lighting. And I'll show you guys the lighting right now. Oh. Um. Alright, so as you guys can see, it looks pretty, pretty realistic at nighttime, as you guys can see. And if I actually do place a torch down, as you guys can see, it looks somewhat semi-realistic. And you guys can see we even have our own visual shadow of ourselves, which is pretty, pretty cool stuff. And you guys can see the sky and stuff looks really, really beautiful, if I do say so myself. As you guys can see, it's kind of animated. The clouds are moving at a bit of a slow rate, but that's fine. And what we're going to do is actually set the weather to clear. No, the time to day. And you guys can see this how it looks when it rains. Now, the only part of this that I don't like is you don't actually see the shadows, which is pretty unfortunate. But you guys can see the water does kind of gimmick what the clouds and stuff look like. It does kind of reflect that. And you guys can see the water looks a lot more darker. And everything is still waving. Everything looks really, really beautiful. And we'll just set this back to... We'll, we'll set this baby back to clear. We'll clear the weather. There we go. We'll go check out the nether. And yeah, this is pretty much the number one mark shader. And we'll just do that. And as you guys can see, the nether looks amazing. But as you guys know, it's still pretty glitchy because this is not, this was a version that was ported from 1.2 to be compatible with the newer version of MCV. So that's why the nether is kind of green. It is very buggy, unfortunately, but it still looks really, really nice. And yeah, the lighting still looks really beautiful in the nether. But yeah, we'll just go back. And there you guys go. That concludes it for our top five best working shaders let me know what you guys think of these shaders if you guys suggest a shader that you guys want me to put in my next top five shader video in the comment section below and i'll probably uh kind of slow it down with the top shader videos i'll probably make more just individual shader videos i mean actually i don't know i'm probably if you guys really want me to do one again definitely let me know i'll probably have another one coming time coming soon but yeah guys that is pretty much it and i'll probably start doing like a top seven or top eight or do a little bit more than five shaders 
But yeah, there you guys go. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like this video.